It's Friday, June 20th. Okay, looks like it worked this time. The completed second water tanks easily, holding water up to the brim. I feel like I was able to make it more proficiently than the last one, and it's just nicer looking in general. It's the same process, but the cork's different. I used cork for water tanks this time. It's resistant to water and it's non-toxic, so I'm sure it'll be okay. Amazingly enough, I got the, the cork for free. The president of the engineering firm that Ms. Darzema introduced me to just gave it to me for free, saying it was leftovers. I'm really grateful. I can't do anything in return, but we can invite him to the Tanabata festival and see our stargazing aquarium. We'll need this to be amazing, so he knows it was worth it. I think we can consider our water tank problem solved now. Then let's go catch some more to fill the new tank. It's Saturday tomorrow, so that's perfect timing. Can you come with again, Shinozaki? It's Saturday, June 21st. Speaking of, did you put your sunscreen on properly today? That's good. I guess it wasn't that bad of a break then. Also, no telling your dad that you came over to use our bath, alright? Well, just thought I might as well say it. Huh? Well... If I let Shinozaki use it and say no to Okihara-senpai... She's just saying nonsense for some reason. Children's voices ring out before us. Okay, then let's see who gets more. We are gonna catch more than last time. じゃあ、頑張らないと。はい、頑張ってくださいね。お兄ちゃん Kids are terrifyingly fast at picking things up. They got good at catching fish in the blink of an eye. They pretty much got double of what I got. The children depart, leaving behind an odd sense of humiliation in their wake. Well, I guess I should just be glad that we got a lot of fish. Okiara-senpai then swiftly disappears, leaving me alone with Shinozaki. Great work today! Here, have a sports drink. The two of us sit on some rocks and rehydrate. The sun's way past its zenith and the sky's beginning to show tinges of yellow. We were at it for a while, huh? I know, right? You're not sunburned, are you? I peer in at her face. I think you've gotten kinda red. You sure you didn't burn? Ah, 
course it's close. No, 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 <laughs> she places a foot in a tight pool with a splish. She turns a soft smile toward me. <sighs> I see, so that's what she meant. <laughs> Guess so. Kyomo, Kire, and Sakana, Taksan to let Ione. Sugo Kire, and a Suizo Kanga de Kiso. We'll definitely make it one, but it'll be nice if we got some rarer fish for that. Ah, so the ne. Toreta Sakana no Shuruiva, Konomaito, Amari Kawaranaka Tamone. Yosh, to give a Mesrashi Sakana, come back to meet Kyo. Shinozaki looks like she's having the time of her life. Just watching her be that happy is making me happy. It's strange. Now that I think about it, I don't have many memories of the two of us doing fun stuff like this together when we were kids. Shinozaki was pretty much always in pajamas too. She speaks quietly. She wholeheartedly thinks this is fun, the thought warms my heart. But, at the same time, it feels like there's something tightening deep inside my chest. What is this? What kind of stuff do you want to do? She dreamily lists off her wishes. That's when I realize. Aren't those all things that Shinozaki wanted to do but couldn't when she was a kid? <laughs> Together. Yeah, it'll be fun doing things with everyone. Ah, so that's it. She flashes a pure smile, and I get worried again seeing her like that. I've been thinking of back when we were kids for a while now. Back when I spent time together with Shinozaki here in this town. She never ended up being able to go to the Tanabata festival because she was sick. Not the Tanabata festival, or the closing ceremony, or to go watch the meteor shower. Is your asthma really under control? She really looks like she's gotten healthier. But is that asthma that caused her so much suffering really gone? <laughs> she smiles brightly. I feel like that carefree smile eases my worry a bit, but her slender body seems so frail before me, like she might melt away into the sunset. Huh? You? Dive? No way, that's too dangerous. No, you can't. What are you going to do if you have an attack underwater? No way. But there's still a chance, isn't there? We should play it safe for catching fish. We don't need to force ourselves to get rare fish. She gives a small nod, though she looks like she wants to say more. She's a poor lifeguard, so I'm sure she should be alright. But the ocean's different from a pool. We might not be able to get her help in time if something happens. There's just too much that isn't under control. 
the mood becomes awkward. Maybe I said something unnecessary. But I don't want to have to regret not saying it in the future. Oh, Okiada Senpai is back. She's still far off, but I can't help but feel relieved. I guess that's what she meant by getting information. She sure is passionate when it comes to fish. I'm even more relieved once I see a smile return to Shinozaki's face. I never want to lose the chance to see the smile. That's why I need to keep watch over her, no matter how much she may hate me for it. It's Sunday, June 22nd. Fuah! I'm still tired. Maybe I took in a bit too much sun yesterday. It's a good thing it's still the weekend. I've been just lying around in my room all morning. Living alone's nice and all, but it's bad in times like these. I bet my mom would be yelling at me to go do homework or something if she were here right now. I just can't help but take it easy on myself when I'm alone. That's my excuse, but Shinozaki is working at the pool in the morning again today. And compared to her, I'm still sitting in bed. Is this what people mean when they talk about societal stratification? No, it's not. I'm just lazing around like this when Shinozaki is giving her all at her part-time job after doing the same thing I did yesterday. Okay, let's get up. I leap out of bed. I can't let myself lose to Shinozaki after all. But what should I do? I know, the filters that Okiara senpai talked to me about. She asked if it could be possible to make the water tank filter ourselves. The Naturalist Club doesn't have enough, as one would expect, and they'd be pricey to purchase. It apparently doesn't have to be anything too complex of a design, so she said that making our own would be ideal. Let's start with looking it up on the internet. I see, looks easier than I thought. I think we could make it ourselves this way. Making a homemade filter looks doable. I found a decent number of web pages that explain how to make one. It's actually pretty simple, so I think I might even be able to make one by myself. Let's get the materials together first. Let's see. There are a lot of different methods as expected, with lots of differences that I can't quite make any judgments over. It might be best to discuss this with Okiara senpai Guess I'll contact her over Lime. I sent her a Lime message. Man, so many girls on my phone. I've tried looking up things for a filter unit. I think it should be doable to make them all. Oh, thank you very much for looking into it. It... Yeah. Okay, would you like to meet up at the train station 30 minutes then? Yes, I will see you then and there. Our plans were settled immediately. It really is a matter of motivation, I guess. Alright! I want to try to get the materials together by the end of today and start working on the filters tomorrow. It's Monday, June 23rd. We all gather in the old school building Monday after school. They're surprisingly simple. I think even us amateurs could make them, so let's make them together today. I picked up the materials yesterday with Okiara senpai PVC pipes, filters, a motor, a plastic box to house the filter and motor, and that's it. The motor pulls water from the tank and moves it through the PVC pipes toward the filter box. The filter inside cleans the water and returns it back into the tank. It requires a bit of construction, but it seems simple enough. Please do it until the end. We all start working. 
I walk around to see how everyone's doing. It looks a little dangerous since they're not used to the tools. That'd make it leak water, you know. But let's take function over form. She's pushing a PVC pipe against a motor. Looks like the pieces aren't connecting properly. Is it that tough? That's weird. Let me try. It is a bit of a tight fit, but I'm pretty sure this should still... I focus on my fingertips and carefully line up the two components. There, they're connected. I just like working on these smaller details. My face has nothing to do with this. Sigawa's got her camera pointed towards Shinozaki. What's that for? Hmm, but did something happen just now? Well, I'm glad you got a good photo. Use it for the graduation album. It's proof of our golden years, isn't it? But it's already too late. Water sprayed out from the piping that Shinozaki had attached to the tank that she had been working on. The water hits her directly. Y you okay? I remove the PVC piping to stop the flow. Yeah, you got pretty wet. There's water dripping from her hair. No, what if you get the chills? I'm gonna go grab a towel. How do you feel? You okay? It looks like it really was mostly her hair. She looks fine after wiping her wet hair. No, not yet. Your hair is still wet, right? We can go back once your hair is dry. No, no, I can't let you catch a cold. You can't let your guard down like that. Overprotective. Now that she mentions it, am I a bother? What? Just say it. I know that. No, it's nothing. Overprotective. I really must be too worried. But I just can't help but remember how she was back when we were kids. Shinozaki couldn't participate in Tanabata, camping, or anything back then. That's why I want to make sure things go well for the Tanabata festival this year. So we need to be careful. You're gonna be fine alone? <laughs> I'm 
Right, that's true. Then make sure you dry up completely, alright? Hmm, about what? But you are not getting in the way. That's not true. You worry too much. She looks down. She must be seriously bothered by this. Even though I've never even once thought anything like that. You're always doing great, Shinozaki. I'm really grateful for you. Of course, you worry too much. In fact, you need to make sure you don't overexert yourself. You don't have a strong body. Everything will have been for nothing if she overexerts herself and goes down before the festival. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. Shinozaki is interrupted by Sigawa's appearance. All right, I'll be right there. Shinozaki, uh... You sure? Then make sure you get completely dry, okay? Things have kinda gotten awkward. But I want to see this plan through properly, together with Shinozaki. So we need to be careful. <laughs> 